Good morning. Dr. Pam checking in. When patients come to me with muscle skeletal pain and injuries, whether it's the low back, the mid back, the neck, shoulders, elbows, hips, knees, ankles, I share with them that an injury is an opportunity to discover an underlying imbalance or weakness and to correct that problem. That's usually the underlying weakness that predisposed them to the injury, but it's also an imbalance and a weakness that's keeping them from moving forward and living a much healthier, active life. We can't go to the gyms right now. Let's look at this as an opportunity to discover an underlying weakness or vulnerability. I'll tell you, almost everybody who walks into my office, when I take them through a functional movement evaluation, the weakness is their stabilization system. Not just the core, but the entire proximal trunk stabilization system. Over the next couple of weeks, I'm not just gonna show you what exercises to do, I'm going to show you first how to engage and to turn on your stabilization, stabilization system correctly, and then I'm going to teach you how to integrate it and bring it back into movement so that when we're back in the gym and we're back to much more active lifestyles, you will have corrected an underlying weakness, you will be reducing your risk for injury, and you'll be able to get back to a healthy, active life. Look forward to working with you over the next few weeks. Good morning, Dr. Pam. Today we're gonna to start looking at stabilization from a whole trunk perspective. I'm gonna to start today with breathing. It is so, so critical for us to be able to move and to function well. Incorrect breathing is when the rib cage goes up and down like a piston. It looks something like this. That's reversed of what it's supposed to be. We need to do belly breathing. I'm gonna have you think about your lungs moving from your chest down into your belly and visualize it as you're pulling in a deep breath of air, you're pulling it all the way down into your belly as it expands. So it would look like this. Next, our rib cage has to be involved in the breathing. The rib cage should come out to the side, in and out. So as you breathe, you can put your hands on your ribs and feel the expansion go out to the side like this. You might wanna put a hand here to make sure that your ribs are not going up and your chest is not elevating, but staying still while your ribs come out to the side. So there's your breathing exercises to practice today. Don't police perfection. Explore the movement. Explore that your rib cage should move and expand that your belly should breathe and expand and just be aware of these new movements. Tomorrow we'll progress. We'll review this and move forward. Have a great day. Be safe. Good morning. Dr. Wilson checking in and continuing the series on understanding full trunk stabilization. Today I'm going to talk about the transverse abdominis. We know that it does play a primary role in stabilization of our entire trunk. It's the deepest of all four abdominal muscles, and because of the way it's designed, when it contracts, there's no significant movement of the human skeleton because it is primarily a stabilization muscle. It does have a secondary role that's very critical, and that is in assisting the diaphragm in expiration as part of the respiration system. So to find the transverse and to be able to voluntarily engage it and turn it on so that as we move through this series, I can teach you how to integrate it back into movement again. 
I want to help you give yourself an understanding and a feeling of when this muscle is actually turned on. You want to make sure that you're relaxing your entire upper chest and your ribs. You're sitting tall with good posture. And what you want to feel is in your abdomen area, when this muscle contracts, there is a sinking or drawing back in of the belly button or the abdomen. You can find here on the side, right above the crest of your pelvis, a soft area of the muscle that you will feel push out as the muscle tightens and becomes engaged. So with one hand on your belly to give you biofeedback of your stomach sinking in, and the second hand on the soft part in the middle of your waist, just above your pelvis and below your ribs, you're going to feel for a pushing out or a contraction. So I want you to take an easy breath in, let the air out, keep letting the air out, force the air out, pull your belly back towards you, your spine as you forcefully exhale all the air in your lungs and feel the sinking of your belly and the tightening of the muscle to the side. Again, don't police perfection. This is about exploring that there is a muscle here that you haven't been in touch with and that has not been participating in your stabilization. Stay tuned tomorrow and we're gonna to bring together respiration of the ribs and the diaphragm with the transverse and work to link them together. Be safe, stay well, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good morning, Dr. Pam checking in. Happy Friday. Today we're going to link together the diaphragm belly breathing, the movement of the ribs out as we inhale, squeezing in as we exhale, and the tightening and the contraction of the transverse abdominals. We're going to focus primarily on the exhalation part of the respiration cycle because this is where when we exhale and squeeze these systems on, we really anchor and stabilize a solid connection here. So what I want you to do is I want you to start by taking a belly breath in and the ribs out to the side. So we're going to belly breath in and ribs. And as we exhale, I want you to squeeze through your ribs, squeeze through the belly, squeeze your transverse back in, feel this all linked together, forcefully get all the air out, and feel this tighten and engage. Again, explore the motions in this area. Be aware that there's muscles here that you haven't paid attention to, that your rib cage can move with such freedom and openness of your diaphragm into your belly. These are areas that we just have to dust off the cobwebs. We have to become aware of the movements again, and then we can integrate them back into coordinated exercise and strength training. Again, let's take this time as an opportunity to strengthen a weakness that's been in our bodies. Most of us are so sedentary in our lifestyles. Time at the computers. Sitting is the new smoking. It is horrible for the body. These systems shut down because of the sedentary lifestyles that we're leaving, we're living right now. Almost all of us are dealing with this imbalance. Explore these motions, linking this all together over the weekend. And I'll touch base on this series on Monday. And over the weekend, we'll talk about getting out and being active again. Have a great weekend.